Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. Now for our solution here. So I start with x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. Now, I'm going to take the power of 4 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, a here, this is equal to x, m is equal to x to the power of 4, and n is equal to 4. So if I want to convert x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4, into the form a to the power of m times n, this would be a, so x to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 4 times 4. And this is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now x to the power of 4 times 4 is simply just 4x to the power of 4. So I have x to the power of 4x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now 64 here, this is the same thing as 8 to the power of 2, or 8 squared. So now I'm going to substitute in 8 squared for 64. So now I have x to the power of 4x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 squared to the power of 64. Sorry, not 64, 8 squared to the power of 4. Now, remember how if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So a to the power of 2 to the power of 4, that is going to equal 8 to the power of 2 times 4. And 2 times 4 is 8, so I have x to the power of 4x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 to the power of 8. Now, x to the power of 4x to the power of 4, I can rewrite as x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. And this is equal to 8 to the power of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, and this means that a to is equal to b as long as b is greater than or equal to 1. And in this case, b is 8, which is greater than or equal to 1, meaning x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the root of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to the fourth root of 8. Now, to check our solution, our original equation was x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64, and x is equal to the fourth root of 8. So now if I plug in the fourth root of 8 in this, I get the fourth root of 8 to the power of the fourth root of 8 to the power of 4 is equal to 64. Now the fourth root of 8 to the power of 4, these two will simply cancel out. So I would have the fourth root of 8 to the power of 8 is equal to 64. Now the fourth root of 8, that is the same thing as 8 to the power of 1 over 4. So I have 8 to the power of 1 over 4 to the power of 8 is equal to 64. Now this is the same thing as 8 to the power of 1 over 4 times 8, which is the same thing as 8 to the power of 2. So I have 8 to the power of 4, 2 is equal to 64, and 8 to the power of 2 is 64. So I have 64 is equal to 64, and this is right, so our solution is right. All right, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. 
Now for our solution. So we obviously start with x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 5 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of n to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n times n. So as you can see, we have x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5. And in this case, a is equal to x, m is equal to x to the power of 5, and n is equal to 5. So I want to write this in the form a to the power of m times n. So we have a x to the power of m times n. So x to the power of 5 times 5. And this is still equal to 100. Oops, sorry. 100 to the power of 5. Now, 5 times x to the power of 5 is 5x to the power of 5. So I have x to the power of 5x to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now 100 here, this is the same thing as 10 squared. So now if I substitute this value in for 100, I get x to the power of 5x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 squared to the power of 5. Now again, remember how if we had something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5 here. We have x to the power of 5, x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5. That's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 5. And 2 times 5 is 10. So I have x to the power of 5x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 10. Now, I can rewrite x to the power of 5x to the power of 5 as x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5. Now, this is equal to 10 to the power of 10. And I did this because remember how if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b as long as b is greater than or equal to 1. And in this case, b is 10, which is greater than or equal to 1. So now I have x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. Now, to get rid of this power of 5, I'm going to take the root of 5 on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to the fifth root of 5 or sorry, 10. So this is our answer.